double zero of Josh Henry on your front row. It's the 29 of Jason Welshin. And out of Wartburg, Tennessee, setting your fast time, it's the 2X of Anthony White. Get on your feet, Crossville. Here they come. They are four wide. This is the best view in motorsports right here. Let them know that you're here. They're coming around to you, it's here parking. Let them hear you, flash your lights. Let them know that you appreciate them. Gonna be on like Donkey Kong on a Friday night out of turn number three and four. They're beating and banging down the front straightaway. We've got heavy contact, Jason Wilson around in turn number one and two. Don't know who that caution is going to be called on. Well, the good thing is there's not a lap complete, so he'll go back to his starting spot. And we are, man, man, oh man, did Anthony White drag his heels. 40 laps is the distance. We are underway, and it looks clean. And they're already all over each other down the front straightaway as they jump down into turn number one and two. As we dive down into two, three and four, it looks like Anthony White is going to lead lap number one, but don't count out that 29, Jason Welsh. And he is all over the back bumper of that two machine. So the Dream Weaver set 16 is going to be in that number six spot right now. Michael Courtney looking to the bottom side. Three wide, turn number four. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. If you're not on the edge of your seat right now, we don't know why not. Because we have got three wide racing all over this field. As Jess, Christian, Jason, Welsh, and if I can get it out, is trying to find the way underneath that 2X machine of Anthony White. Just can't seem to get it done just yet, but we are only clicking off lap number four at the time right now. So there's going to be 36 laps remaining in this Independence Day 40 here at Crossville Speedway as the front two battle it out. We oh, got one. one around in three and four. That looks like it's going to be the 11 of Tyler Howard. It's going to get in the loud pedal off the bottom side of the racetrack. We are back underway in your crate late model Independence Day 40. So Josh Henry gets a jump that time, got a better start than he did last time. But Jason Wilson is going to pull the crowd over move as here he's going to try to go down to the bottom, but Wilson shuts the door. Randy Weaver trying to try to get the bottom side underneath that number 11 CF Courtney. They're going to be three wide going into one and two. Who's going to come Whoa, out? Michael Courtney around. As we got a couple more getting tangled up in that mess. So it's going to be the 51 of Mac McCarter. Mac McCarter going to loop it around. I don't think he got any serious damage. I don't know. That right front does not look good from here. Looks like he's going to have to go find him an alignment shop real quick. Yep, you can see the right front of Mac McCarter. It's broke. Tough luck to the driver as the McCarter family of 411. Bulls gap. Pedal right there coming out of three and four. We are back underway in your Independence Day 40. Jesse Lowe trying to make quick work of Jason Welsh. And just can't get him to get it done, but Josh Henry's found his way up to the back side of Anthony White, but Anthony White stretches him out going down the back straightaway. So Anthony White's going to run the middle side of the racetrack as the field. Fans out in behind your number two guy. So we're going to go down. It's still all dirty white boy. Clinton, Tennessee driver in the Longhorn chassis. So right now it looks like Anthony White's going to click off lap number eight. As Josh Henry is going to try something on the bottom side. Can't get it done. He's right there at the door. So now Jim Reel's going to go around the outside of Jesse Lowe down the back straightaway. There's racing all over this field. You look through it, it's two by two by two by three. Well, three wide right there of a kid quick, Greg Martin. And they've got it quickly figured out for them. And Anthony White's got some company down on the inside, coming out of turn number four. They're going down the straightaway here to the inside. Anthony White to the outside. Anthony White's going to pull it out of turn number two. So right now, as they run, Anthony White, Josh Henry, Jason Welsh, Brindle, Blow. And that's going to be your top five right now.
So your battle on the racetrack now is gonna be for the lead between the Knoxville Tennessee driver, Josh Henry, and the Clinton Tennessee driver, Anthony White. They have been door to door for the last four laps, and they're gonna do it again down the back straightaway. It's gonna be a drag race, so who's gonna come out of turn number four with the heads up? Looking like Anthony White, Dirty White Boy, still got the number one position this time. We are 12 laps down. And there it is, oh no, something's wrong with the Longhorn chassis. Anthony White goes to the top of the racetrack. Caution on the speedway. Looks like, like Brandon, you just said, it looks like something's wrong with that Longhorn chassis machine. Maybe we can get a better look at it as he comes around down the front straightaway. Five this time by. And we are back underway in your Crate Lake Model Independence Day 40. So Welshman's gonna try to get something on the boot crew, but here it comes Chip Brindle to the outside of Welshman down the back straightaway. They're gonna throw it off into turn three and four. Look out, here comes Jesse Lowe, gonna try to make it three wide down the front straightaway. Just can't seem to make it happen just yet, but Chip Brindle on the top side of this racetrack. He's got his sights set on that double zero of Josh Henry as they come around to click off lap number 14. So, Welshin's starting to fall back just a little bit, starting to fall off pace. Chip Brindle's starting to hook up, he's moving to the second place. Josh Henry may have some company in a few laps on the outside of him. Well, it all comes down to set up and tire choice here at Crossfield Speedway. You start to see that track get black and blue grooved over. Some people set their cars up for that, some people don't like it. So Randy Weaver and Jimmy Elliott battling it out for that number five spot down the front straightaway. We are three wide back there with Hanger and Smith. That looks like it's gonna be a battle for the number 12 spot at the time. So Josh Henry, Chip Brittle, Jason Wilson, Jeff, Jesse Lowe, Randy Weaver, Jimmy Elliott. That's your rundown right now out front for the top six cars. Rusty Ballinger getting around Greg Martin down the back straightaway. Josh Henry's looking off lap number 18. He's working the bottom side of the racetrack, but here comes Chip Brindle getting a run on the back straightaway. See if he can continue that on through three and four and make his way around that double zero as he's made his way to the back bumper of him right now. And we got, we got one around in turn one and two. That's gonna be the 11 of Tyler Howard. What it's because here we go, Josh Henry. On the loud pedal. Jason Wilson running the top side. He's trying, gonna try to make quick work out of that B double zero. As he's got the momentum on the top side of the racetrack. He's gonna take away that number one spot going down the back straightaway. But Josh Henry says, I'm not done yet as they battle it out coming out of turn number four. But Jason Welshin moves into that number one spot. So if you look at behind him, Randy Weaver's moved back to the top side of the racetrack as well. There may be something cooking up on the high banks to Crossville Speedway. As Jesse Lowe's moved up there, Chip Brittle, they're starting around the high side. Did they burn the bottom up already? But that savage chassis of Jason Welshin has moved out front and starting to leave the pack. That makes you think right there, race fans. Everybody was trying the bottom side. Couldn't get no grip off the turn. Couldn't get no drive. So if can't get no drive off the bottom, what's left? Move to the top of the racetrack where all that momentum is working to your favor. So Randy Weaver's moved to the number three spot. We've got 17 laps of racing left. He was working on the inside of Josh Henry out of turn number two, but could not make it happen. Chip Brittle down to the bottom side of Randy Weaver in turn number four. As we move right on along further back into the pack, we have got racing just about all through as Kid Quick's trying the bottom side, Christian Hanger's on the bottom side as well. Doesn't look like they got the drive like everybody else on the top side. So your closest battle to the leader is going to be between Jesse Lowe and Jimmy Elliott, the Mohawk. Mohawk down on the bottom side, Jesse Lowe running the top. Chip Brindle's trying on the bottom side, trying to get around the dream right now. Can't get it done, but he's all over the inside door of that 16 machine. So Chip Brindle's put that 17 to the top side of the bottom side and making it work around Crossville Speedway. Randy Weaver gonna slide all the way to the top of the race track, but could not complete it. That's gonna kill his momentum as Brindle's gonna try on the bottom side again. They almost touch coming out of turn two. As they do touch, I am sorry. But we stay green flag racing, it's still clean to go. So 12 laps remaining around Crossville Speedway in a crane late model. There is a lot of racing left. 
Ken LaBlanche. Uh oh, Chip Brittle's got a little bit of smoke coming out from the back of that machine. It looks like he has fallen off the pace just a little bit. That is exactly. Will he pull it into the infield? Will we remain green? No, he stops. Cannot make it, man. We're going to get in the loud pedal. Jason Wilson's going to lead us off a of turn number four. We are back underway in your Crate Lane Model Independence Day 40. Jason Welsh is still working that top side. Jesse Lowe dives way down low. She can't seem to get no drive off the corner. Randy Weaver, slide job, making it work. So but yellow flag there. Michael Smith. Michael Smith brings out a caution. Remaining in the Independence Day, 40, Jason Welsh and Josh Henry, Randy Weaver, just too long under the green flag as Randy Weaver's gonna drop down to the bottom side of Josh Henry down the first trainway as they dive down into turn number one. Randy Weaver's gonna make it work coming out of two, but Bobbles and Josh Henry takes his spot right back. But here comes the dream right underneath him again. Slide job, can't make it work. But man, oh man, what's the race we have going on right now for that number two position. So there's been slide jobs all over there. Almost going to be contact going into three. Josh Henry, Henry said, you're not going to slide me again. They're door to door out of turn number four, down the front straight away into turn number one. Man, it was too close to call the strike for me, but that's why they call him the dream right there. As him and Josh Henry continue to battle, which is exactly what Jason Welsh wants. Let them two battle it out while I'm going to check out and say, see you later, guys. Well, we got him around. That's going to be Rusty Ballinger in turn number four. Jason Welshin's getting in the loud pedal right now. We are back underway. We've got nine laps to go. So 31 complete. Randy Weaver trying to slide job on him one more time, pulling it off. So here goes Josh Henry. Josh Henry is going to try, but Randy Weaver going all the way down, and then he slides up the racetrack. Three wide coming out of turn number four. The battle's on for the number two spot. Jesse Lowe looking underneath Josh Henry as well. Just can't seem to get it happening, though. Josh Henry, he's gonna dive down underneath the tree, hoping to take that number two spot back away. So Jesse Lowe trying to make it work down on the bottom side. Catfishing for all the moisture as Ryan King's gonna pull in on lap number 33. As we come around and click off lap number 34, it's still all Jason Welsh and Randy the Dream Weaver, Josh Henry, Jesse Lowe. That's gonna be your top five right now. So Jesse Lowe down to the bottom side of Josh Henry. Josh Henry, you start to think he was dominating the race as he burnt that right rear tire up. So Jason Welshin, a commanding lead on the field. Randy Weaver second, Josh Henry third, Jesse Lowe fourth, Jimmy Elliott fifth, Greg Martin sixth, Kyle Courtney seventh. As we're gonna be coming around to click off lap 37, We've got them all pretty much scaled out right now as the 157 makes contact with the outside retaining wall, but it stays clean as we go back to the front of the field. He's going to be coming around. Bullhorns are out for that 29 machine. Black diamond chassis. Savage chassis. Savage chassis. I am so sorry. I was thinking of that Randy Weaver chassis. That's a black diamond there. So here we go, race fans, fixing to bring it to you. The 29 of Maryville, Tennessee has received the wide flag. Followed by Randy Weaver, Josh Henry, Jesse Lowe, Jimmy Elliott, Greg Martin, Kid Quick, Christian Hanger. That's how it's going to be. And coming out of turn number four, bring it to us. Here we come. Josh, Jason Wilson's going to take your Independence Day 40. Followed by Randy the Dream Weaver, Josh Henry, Jesse Lowe, and Jimmy Elliott. That's going to be your top five right now. 